go to the departure port and find your flight at 6.35 to... Yes! I love... Have you ever wanted to turn up to an airport and go on holiday without any idea of where you'll be going or what you'll be doing? Well, that is exactly what I'll be doing in this video as Glenn has booked me on a holiday and I don't know where I'm going or what I'll be doing. Let's take this back a month to when I was in Mykonos when Glenn sent me the first of the instructions. Okay, so as I'm sure you guys can all tell right now, this is the face of a finished man. I am dead. However, I have a few more hours until I need to leave for the airport. Glenn has told me my flight's around 6 p.m., so to get to the airport a couple of hours before. Over the next few days, I'm gonna be setting you some challenges, some sightseeing tours, and a whole bunch of other stuff for you to do. All you need to do right now is get yourself down to the airport. Okay, so as you can see behind me, I'm currently at the airport. I've just messaged Glenn. I'm actually kind of nervous. I think it's gonna be close by. Now that you're at the airport, it's time to find out where you're going first. So head to the nearest departure board and look for the only flight leaving at 10 minutes past six today. Where is it? Poland. Yeah. I actually like Poland. I actually Where's like Poland. Ian? Oh, not with there. No. I'm going to check in my bags and uh, yeah. The adventure continues because I don't know where I'm staying. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Mask up, corona off. Right, you're off to Katowice in Poland. You need to fill out a passenger locator form. You'll find out more when you land. Okay, Katowice. He has sent my boarding pass. He's sent the details. Let's check in and head to Poland. Okay, so I've now arrived in Katowice. I've just bought a bus ticket to get to the center. Glenn has told me I'm staying at a hotel directly next to the train station. It costs £1.13 to get there on the bus. It's about an hour journey. So this is the room that Glenn has booked us. It's £30 a night. In here we have a toilet, very nice. And then this is the room. I've got a double bed. It is a hostel, but I've got my own private room. I may or may not have given in to McDonald's. Tzatziki falafel wrap. Oh, a veggie burger, which is also on my desk now. Time for some scram and outer banks. And then bed. Good morning everyone, I have just woken up, showered and got ready. I may have completely overslept for about 11 hours. The time is almost midday right now. I just got a call from the hotel saying I'm late to check out. Katowice has a long history. It's an industrial city known for its coal mining and it's often been described as boring, ugly. And one YouTube video I saw even described it as being the Sheffield of Poland. Your challenge for this morning is to go around, see the sights and film a cinematic masterpiece to show your viewers exactly what the real Katowice looks like. Oh, and one last thing. Uh, you need to be at the airport tomorrow by half past one. Okay, so I have about an hour and a half to go around the city, see all these sites, and then get to the airport as well. Luckily, Uber in Poland has an option where you can order a car per hour. So I've just got a driver basically for £9.50. I'm gonna get him to show me all these sites and then head to the airport. It was great actually. I saw all the sights. I am currently at the airport again. Very nice. Where are we going, my friend? Got to a board. 3.25. There's two 3.35, 25. Algaro or Split? Which one? You're off to Split. Yes! I love Croatia. Yes, yes. Just go to Split, you'll find out more when you're there. All right, cheers bro. Speak in a bit. Thank you. Okay, and just like that, we have arrived in Split, Croatia. That was the worst landing I've ever experienced. Absolutely terrible, I was petrified. It is a lot warmer than Poland, I can tell you that for free. So welcome to Croatia, Ben. You're staying at the Mondo Hotel, a four-star hotel, spa, and wellness center. Tonight, you're booked for an early dinner at Restaurant Kadina, a Michelin guide restaurant. Enjoy, and I'll catch you later.
Okay, so Glenn has made me a booking at a restaurant called Kadena. The only problem is I have all my luggage. I didn't have time to go to the hotel. Let's go inside and uh, have some food. Okay, so dinner was amazing. I had sea bass and some potatoes and some seafood to start as well. Now I'm gonna head to the hotel, check into my room, drop off my bag and do a tiny bit of exploring. 210, that is our room. Let's see if Glenn has done us well. We need some lights. Okay, here we are. This is the room. We've got a nice big bed. The bed is actually massive. A random little table and chair in the middle of the room. We've got a desk, kind of, and a TV. And a mirror, hello. And this is the room of bathing. Very nice. Yo. Hello, Glenn. Give me two seconds. I'm just about to pull over. What kind of bloody trip advising is this, mate? Some of us have got a life to get on with too, you know? I need some scratch. <laughs> and the most important thing while we wait for Glenn is the bed test. Hmm, I don't know about this one, mate. Have a nice dinner. Yeah, it was great, actually. Really good food. See, I've done something right, at least. You have. Give me some updates. What's happening? What do you mean? You've had your dinner. Um, I've got something for you to go do in a minute, if, you're, if you fancy it. What is it? Tell me. It's a, it's a tourist attraction. What's it? What, what tourist attraction? I'm not going to tell you till you get there. Does it involve alcohol? Evening, Ben. I hope you're having a nice time, but don't stay out too long as you have a very bright and early tomorrow morning. So, uh, yeah, don't miss your alarm. Why am I starting this drunk? I'm still drunk. I've had like two hours sleep and it's not because I w it is kind of because I went out. I was on Vodafone live chat for like two hours last night because my data has stopped working. For no reason, it won't show me any bars. So I'm stranded. I'm about to get on a ferry to a little island. I put a few clothes from my suitcase into my rucksack right here. I'm gonna try and leave this with the hotel water central. Let's go to the beach. Beach, let's get away. Beach is like me and I have to come by. I'm a loser. I haven't really got much details yet, but I do know I'm going to an island called Vis, which my friends last night told me is about three hours away on the ferry. This is my Uber. Okay, so currently this is all I have with no data. So luckily, the office for the ferries is right here. I'm gonna ask them and see what's going on. Okay, so I'm now on the ferry. I'm gonna try and find a spot not in the sun to have a bit of sleep because I don't have any sun cream. I'm on two hours of sleep, otherwise I'm gonna die today. Hopefully I can try get internet somewhere, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to contact Glenn and I won't have any idea what's going on. We shall see, it should be fine. Let's go to this. So after a very, very long two and a half hour ferry journey, we have arrived on the island of Vis. Glenn has just sent me a voice message, so I'm gonna take a listen and see what the plan is. Hi Ben, what's your favorite movie? That's right, Mamma Mia 2. Oh You're my You're going on a tour God. to some of the different locations in the film. A Mamma Mia tour. That, most of the film was shot here on Vis. Apparently you can get a bus to Camisa from the bus stop outside the ferry terminal, or I've seen you can hire a scooter. I am so happy I can hire a scooter I'm gonna go get one right now if I can, and we're gonna head to the location. Fingers crossed they have some. I'm just praying. Okay, so here she is, the absolute machine of dreams. It is a 50cc scooter. Okay, so before I go on my Mamma Mia tour, which Glenn has booked me on, I need some food. I'm starving. I feel violently ill right now. Also, partially due to the fact that I'm very hungover. This is the spot for food. As you can see, it's literally on the seafront. successful lunch munch. I am now on my way to go to this bloody Mamma Mia tour. It's a 145, it's about 120 right now. It's a 17 minute drive across the island. I'm gonna hop on the ped. up ahead so that is where we started off this how do you say it we have just ridden all the way up the mountain and we are now here she was struggling a little up the hill but we have made it and now we have to go down to there i believe to get a tour to see mamma mia hopefully we're going out to see that's that's the plan fingers crossed 
All right, so I've made it to the tour. These are the people. I think we're the only ones. Ben's boat tour would take him to some iconic spots from his favourite film, including Steneva Beach, which was voted Europe's best beach in 2019, and the Green Cave, which by the looks of things didn't look very green, before stopping off at a private island beach bar, where I'm sure he made loads of friends and ordered the manliest drink he could. Amazing day, guys. What's good, Ben? You have a dinner reservation at seven o'clock at Jastort Zera. It's a seafood and lobster restaurant. Of course, it's been in Mamma Mia too. I hope you've had a lovely day and you enjoy your dinner. What an amazing day. Honestly, I didn't really film that much of me speaking, but I had the best time. We went to the beautiful beaches, some caves, and then, of course, this little island where there was literally just a bar. That was it. Glenn has booked me in for dinner somewhere. However, I currently can't find it. I try my best. I cannot get over how beautiful this town is though. I am absolutely starving. I need some food. I then sat down for food at this amazing outdoor restaurant where they use hair dryers to cook fish. I ordered pretty much everything on the menu, including too much cheese. I then had nightmares and saw a sleep demon in the shack of an Airbnb, which Glenn booked for me. But yeah, that's basically everything which happened. Cut to the next day. Good morning, you may be slightly confused. I basically got to the apartment last night and fell straight asleep. I've also literally just woken up and had a shower, got changed and packed my bags. As you can see, this is the room. It isn't anything too special, but it's about 350 Croatian currency, I forgot the name, which is about 40 quid, so it isn't too bad. It's just a basic room. Also got a bathroom in here, I had a shower. <laughs> Here we are back in Split, the ferry journey wasn't too bad. I wish they did ferries like they do here in the UK. Like there's literally no nonsense. You just walk off where the cars go off at the same time as the cars. I mean, the health and safety probably isn't quite the same, but it's quick and efficient. Mr. Glenn has sent me another video. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Split today, so I haven't got too much planned for you because I wanted you to have a chill day. I'm sending over your Airbnb information now so you can go drop your bags off wander around and chill. You've had a busy few days, so just relax, enjoy yourself, and enjoy the last day of your holiday. And I'll catch you later. Okay, so it doesn't seem like I've got too much I need to be doing. He has booked me an Airbnb. Hopefully, this one is nice. Not saying the previous ones haven't been nice. I just need a comfortable bed. That's all I need. Anyways, I'm gonna walk away from the ferry terminal, get myself an Uber, and uh, head back to my old hotel to get the bag, and then go to the new Airbnb. Uh -huh. Suitcase secured, I have now arrived at the new Airbnb. I think this is the place. Glenn has said the lady is supposed to be here soon, so we're gonna wait and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Drum roll please for the last apartment of the video. Here we go. This is really nice actually, I really like this place. Just a simple double bed. There is also a balcony as well. There is a desk, a wardrobe and a TV. And of course a bathroom, which is really, really nice and modern. Highly recommend this place. It says it's a private room because there's basically three apartments in this apartment, if that makes sense. It's just the same as having your own apartment. It is all I need. It will do perfectly. Okay, so it's now the evening time. It's about 10.30. I've just been sat in bed 
for the past couple of hours doing absolutely nothing and I've been loving it. I went for a run earlier and then I found a gym. I then got a poke bowl, poke bowl, a poke bowl and now I'm contemplating whether to go out or not. I don't know whether I should. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go out, get some food, get a drink or two or three and then we're gonna see what, yeah, that's a good plan. Okay, let's go. I didn't really do too much on my last day in Split as I was barely alive from all the alcohol I'd been consuming. However, I did indeed go out for more drinks, get tipsy alone at a sushi restaurant, absolutely bottle going on a Tinder date, and then went home to sleep. That was basically what happened in my last day of the mystery holiday. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, the usual. I'm sorry about the recent inconsistency. I've just been enjoying life a bit too much. We are back in full force. The bills are creeping up on me, so I need to make videos again. Thank you to Glenn. I shall see you guys next week with another video. Hopefully, probably. <laughs> Goodbye.